and I continue to work for 15 consecutive days until after the inauguration. I made sure to work despite, despite my injuries because I wanted to continue doing my job and help secure the capital complex. More than six months later, I'm still trying to recover from my injuries. Many of my fellow capital officers, as well as MPD officers, suffer terrible physical injuries from the violence inflicted on us on January 6th. I sustained injuries on both my hands, my left shoulder, my left calf, and my right foot. I already had undergone bone fusion surgery on my right foot, and I was just told that I need surgery on my left shoulder. I have been on medical and administrative leave for much of, my, of the past six months, and I expect to need further rehabilitation for possibly more than a year. There are some who express outrage when someone kneels while calling for social justice. Where are those same people expressing the outrage to condone, condemn the violence attack on law enforcement, the capital, and our American democracy? I'm still waiting for them. As American in the world watching horror what was happening at the Capitol. We did not receive re timely reinforcement and support we needed. In contrast, during the Black Lives Matter protest last year, U.S. Capitol Police had all the support we needed and more. What was, why the different response? Were it not for the brave members of the MPD and laid on from other law enforcement agencies? I'm afraid to think what could have happened on January 6th. I want to publicly thank all the law enforcement agencies that, res that responded to assist that day for their courage and their support. I especially want to thank the, those Capitol Police officers who responded on their own from home after a working midnight shift. Despite being our number, we did our job. Every member of the of the House of Representatives, senators, and staff member made it home. Sadly, as a result of that day, we lost officers, some really good officers. But we held the line to protect our demo democratic process because the alternative would have been a disaster. We are not asking for medals or recognition. We simply want justice and accountability. For most people, January 6th happened for a few hours. But for, but for, all, for those of us who work, were in the thick of it, it has not ended. That day continued to be a constant trauma for us literally every day, whether because of our physical or emotional injuries or both. While it has not received much attention, sadly, Many of my colleagues have quietly resigned from the Capitol because of that day. I'm also regularly called by law enforcement officials and prosecutors to help identify from photographs and videos the rioters. And to be honest, physical therapy is painful and hard. I could, I could have lost my life that day, not once, but many times. But as soon as I recover from my injuries, I will continue forward and proudly serve my country in the U.S. Capitol Police. As an immigrant to the United States, I'm especially proud to have defended the U.S. Constitution and our democ democracy on January 6th. I hope that everyone in the position of authority in, the, in our country has the courage and conviction to do their part by investigating what happened on that terrible day and why. This investigation is essential to our democracy and I'm deeply grateful to you for undertaking it. I'm happy to assist as I can and answer any question you may have to the best of my ability. Thank you.